Researchers at the University of Toronto Joint Center for Bioethics have actually categorized these countries as front runners China, South Korea, India, and middle ground players Thailand, Philippines, South Africa, Brazil, Chile. In addition, Argentina and Mexico are up and comers. Although they have research groups studying nanotechnology, their governments have not yet arranged devoted financing. Their market price by then is predicted to be 13 trillion baht, more than 320 billion United States dollars at contemporary currency exchange rate. Certainly, Thailand has actually completely accepted nanotechnology and its development as a major dedication of the Thai federal government. Also, China announced in May 2004 that nanotechnology is main to its long-term nationwide science and technology plan. In its 2005 report entitled Development, Using Understanding in Advancement, the UN Millennium Project Task Force on Science Innovation and Development composed that, nanotechnology is likely to be especially important in the establishing world, due to the fact that it includes little labor, land-o. In January 2005, scientists at the United States Massachusetts Institute of Technology used optical tweezers, Pairs of tiny glass beads are combined or moved apart using laser beams to study the elasticity of red blood cells that are contaminated with the malaria parasite. See Tiny Tools Tackle M. How nanotechnology might improve drug delivery but nanotechnology might also one day result in less expensive, more trusted systems for drug delivery. For instance, Products that are developed on the nanoscale can offer encapsulation systems that safeguard and secrete the enclosed drugs in a sluggish and regulated way. This could be an important option in nations that don't have sufficient storage centers and distribution networks, and for clients on complicated drug programs who can not manage the time or money to travel FAS away for a medical visit. Other comparable innovations might take in or neutralize hazardous products, such as arsenic, that toxin the water table in lots of countries consisting of India and Bangladesh. Food security using nanosensors on crops and nanoparticles in fertilizers Tiny sensors provide the possibility of keeping track of pathogens on crops and animals as well as determining crop performance. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon. We will notify you technological news. Thank you.